What's going on, folks? This is Jay Ghost, and I want to sit here and I want to talk a few things about the Quinn conspiracy and everything, and everything that has been going on with uh, Zoe Quinn. Now, just for updates and everything, yes, you can still go to Internet Aristocrats um, videos. I'll put those in the links so that way you can see them for yourself. There is a mass censorship going on, both at Reddit, 4chan, everywhere, so people stop talking about it and kind of silence it down and keep people from organizing. However, people are still speaking up. YouTube, you can't really do that as much because if you do, um, the censorship is going to sit here and release the hounds. However, what you have to sit here and consider is that a lot of the things that people are going on about right now are pretty much irrelevant. No one really needs to know Zoe Quinn's name. Yes, it's a pseudonym. It's a pseudonym. But you can get to the bottom of it and find out what is going on. But some people are making this conjecture about her name being important and that she's a rich empress duchess or whatever. And I don't think that's the case at all. Folks, why is Gawker Media closing ranks? Escapist. Kotaku. All of these other places. They are closing ranks because they're own, own, all owned by a similar person. Nick Denton. Okay. So, here's a question. If all of this sensationalism is clickbait before there's a spectacular finish, what is going to happen here? I mean, Stephen Concilio, Totillo, or whatever his name is, is not going to be like the person to sit here and basically continue having journalistic integrity. He's just said something, dodging a bullet for now, and it's going to come and bite him in the ass later. But on top of that, you got to think, what is the one thing that I tell people? I tell them to focus at the top. Who owns Kotaku? Who gets paid for everything that is going on? Possibly you might find a few more answers there than just sitting here and going to get into the bottom of this. People, Anita Sarkeesian, people got to the bottom of her. Her background is shady. She is shady. And her quote unquote academic research is unacademic. However, that doesn't mean that you sit here and focus on just getting to the bottom and doing all the research at the bottom of the barrel. I mean, anybody that has the internet can sit here and start looking around, fishing for, say, who helped co-create Depression Quest. Not only co-creating Depression Quest, but sitting here and focusing on things that matter. The connections matter because... I mean, you know, Robin, or Robin, whatever his name is, um, the people, the five guys and everything, they're not that important for sexual favors or anything like that. But what they do, what they influence is the indie game development and which games are in the click and which games are not. Game reviews don't matter that much. But promotion is what matters. It's just a more insidious form of the business model that we've come to know from all sorts of places. EA does this all the time. They use this with Jennifer Halperin. You get the sensationalist argument from someone doesn't like you because you're a woman. Jennifer Halperin did that because she got some flack on what she said in a 2006 interview. Anita Sarkeesian came along, refined that technique, and used it to sit here and keep herself, you know, pretty much in the news. On top of that, and that's exactly what Zoe Quinn has done. I mean, this is a vacuum that Anita pretty much filled in with a feminist, you know, safe space. And what did that safe space do? That sat here and allowed Zoe to come in without criticism or critique without anybody understanding what was going on to sit here and just automatically um, condemn Wizard Chan, automatically condemn any person that's giving her criticism and automatically be angry and upset over women in the industry or men that were against what she wanted. She wanted to have power. That is it. I mean, if you look at the Max Temkin thing, 
the fact is, Max Temkin, I mean, he consulted Zoe. That's what we're getting now. So, she is a very career-oriented woman. And there's nothing wrong with that, but it's just predatory in the worst possible sense. These are the things that matter. The things that matter, the things to focus on, is the fact that she is a predatory sociopath. Uh, well, maybe not sociopath, but she is very predatory in how she sits here and runs everything around her. On top of that, who has incentive to sit here and continue to support what she's doing, which is massive censorship and, you know, I guess you could say in the Europe right to privacy if that whole von Balkenberg crap is actually true you can sit here and take that if you want but it's just irrelevant it is not relevant to sit here and know what her name is who she is as a character as a person that is what is important so I don't know if I'm gonna sit here and meet a lot of people on that uh, you all can continue to muckrake if you want I'm really not as much interested in, in in it as I used to be but I am sitting here focusing on trying to sit here and hopefully hopefully in the very near future I'll be able to help change the industry in some way shape or form but other than that that's really all I have to say about this right now continue on with the conspiracy and let's just see how it goes 